Hi, I'm Shay from Ratings.com. Let's start this video off with a story. You finally managed to get your hands on a new PS5 or Xbox Series X and you can't wait to fully immerse yourself in the worlds these next-gen consoles make possible. And of course, when you buy a new console with improved hardware, you want a new TV to go along with it. One with HDMI 2.1 support to handle 4K gaming at 120 frames per second for a clearer and smoother gaming experience. You check out Amazon or Best Buy and you see a TV that's advertised to support HDMI 2.1 for a price that fits your budget and you buy it. While you're setting things up though, you find out that your new TV isn't even capable of these new features your console supports. How is this possible? The manufacturer says the TV supports HDMI 2.1, but your console says none of these features are supported by your TV. What do you do now? Let's back up a bit. Here at Ratings.com, our goal is to help you find the best product for your needs. We buy all the products we test in order to replicate the consumer buying experience. The goal of our testing is to paint an accurate picture for you. Throughout all of our testing, we found that some TV manufacturers aren't being very clear about what HDMI 2.1 actually means. When you hear about HDMI 2.1, what features do you think of? Well, if you're anything like me, then you probably think about variable refresh rate for a tear-free gaming experience, auto low latency mode to make sure the TV is in game mode when I need it to be, and eARC support for a better audio experience when I'm not using my headset. But even if you don't think about all that stuff, you expect to have a TV or monitor that supports a 4K resolution and a 120 Hz refresh rate. Unfortunately though, there's a big problem here. Even though you may see a TV that advertises HDMI 2.1 support, you may not be getting all or even any of those features I just mentioned. Understandably, this has caused quite a lot of confusion for consumers who we've heard from firsthand. Some people shared stories, just like the one we told at the beginning of the video. Others left comments asking why a TV we reviewed didn't seem to support HDMI 2.1 when it was advertised to. How did all this confusion happen? Well, as reported by our friends at TFT Central, this was due to a change by the HDMI licensing board. Essentially, the HDMI licensing board has done away with the old designation of HDMI 2.0 in favor of HDMI 2.1. This has allowed manufacturers to claim that their devices meet the HDMI 2.1 specifications without supporting even a single new feature. Now obviously we're not fans of this move. HDMI 2.1 is commonly used as shorthand to talk about the new bandwidth capabilities of this new technology. HDMI 2.0 as we used to know it was capable of 18 gigabits per second. HDMI 2.1 is capable of up to 48 gigabits per second. This is what allows for the higher bandwidth formats like 4K at 120Hz with 10-bit color and full chroma 444. The extra features like eARC and VRR don't actually require any extra bandwidth than were possible with HDMI 2.0. This is why you might see TVs that are advertised as supporting HDMI 2.1 and VRR and eARC but don't actually support 4K at 120Hz gaming. While the TV or monitor may support these extra features, they actually lack the extra bandwidth necessary to be a true HDMI 2.1 display. So the question now is, what do we do? Well, the unfortunate reality is that if you're browsing a retail website or visiting a store, you can't trust claims of HDMI 2.1 support at face value. You must check and hope that the manufacturer lists off all the features you actually want for your new TV. As I mentioned before though, we're not fans of this move. For our part, we will only consider a TV or monitor to be HDMI 2.1 class if it supports bandwidth beyond the limitations of HDMI 2.0. Since features like eARC and VRR don't require any extra bandwidth, if a TV only supports those features, we consider it HDMI 2.0, even if the official certification has been retired. We know TVs are no small investment and we're incredibly disappointed when we hear from someone who was misled by manufacturers into buying a product that doesn't fit their needs. We hope by adding our voice to this, less consumers end up with a product they don't want and that this video draws more attention to this issue. 
But what do you think of this change? Would you like to see the HDMI 2.0 designation reinstated? Let us know in the comments. And if you're ever unsure about something before you buy a product, make sure to check out our reviews and reach out to us if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.